Hello, Lying. Hello. Hello. Hello, William. Uh, so, so we're- Welcome, welcome once again to this tiny little zone of calm inside of an otherwise incredible maze. Um, I'm just curious if we're going to leave it the way that it is, or if we're going to rip it all up and try to, like, re-engineer the whole freaking thing. I'm pretty sure that we're planning on ripping out the furnaces at the very least, but for the time being it works. What I know is that we're definitely going to have to do something about the freaking iron production, because it's just not good enough. It is really well, the first thing that we can try and do with that is just increase the efficiency of these furnaces, which we are doing currently by researching advanced material processing. But to do that, we need to move your research areas down here up to the actual belt that is currently backed up on red and green potion. Oh, right, right, right. Okay, so, uh, what we need to do is literally rearrange some stuff. Uh, that being the case... Well, I don't know. Ooh, I really don't know. Oof. Ooh. Mm. Or, mm, mm. Why would you? Why would you do? Why would you do it that way instead of just chopping it down? You're wasting bullets. You're wasting bullets. We are going to be having no problem with bullets. You say that right up until we run out. We've only got the one also, chest. It's faster. Only got the one chest of bullets. Yes. You have, like, you have no idea lying. I think <laughs> we're good. Okay, so anyway, um... If we are the ones using bullets, then something has gone drastically wrong. So we basically, we basically have to get something like this set up, where the, uh... One, one line is gonna have the red and the green, and the other one's gonna have the blue and the purple, I believe? So, yeah. yeah I, think I think it's purple... Oh, by the way, welcome back to Factorio, everyone. <laughs> oh yeah, that, that, that game we're playing, might, right, might, yes. Might need to, you know, have a proper introduction. I don't know if we... Uh, uh, is it necessary to have a proper introduction, though? Um, have we even settled on a name? I don't think we ever did settle on a name. I'm gonna go ahead and take up... The... Oh, ooh, ooh. Ah. Ooh, stop it. Arm. Quit. I don't know, where should we put the line? For reds, uh, for 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 the for the research because we're gonna have to expand this something serious. Yeah, what we really need to do is take away all of this section that's currently making potions and stuff, and just move it away from the smelting area so we can actually just diverge the resources we're outputting more. Mm. Personally, I'm kind of amused by the concept of having you be the one to move all of this mess. Amused by the concept of having me move your mess is what I just heard. More or less. Yeah, that's I'm what I- I'm sure nothing could possibly go wrong. Ugh, lying. Ugh. Okay, so, I'm just gonna lay down a belt. I'm gonna lay down two belts here. And we'll just put it down right here. Okay. Seems reasonable enough to me. And then we are probably going to need some long arm inserters at some stage, but since we only have the two, it's not a huge issue right yeah, now. Yeah, the long arm will be for the other belt, but for now, we are perfectly fine. We also have some neighbors that are a little bit on the rowdy side. Yeah, how are they doing currently? Are we, uh, are we, are we still dealing with some of their crap? Uh, well, I haven't seen them in a while. If we're lucky, they've moved out, or maybe their tenancy agreement got rendered null and void from all the noise, but who knows. <laughs> Uh, unfortunately, I don't know that we have that good of a super, so... <laughs> um, what? Jeez, I am I am so fish out of water because it's been so long since we last played. Uh... It's, it's for, for everyone else, it's like, yeah, it's been about two weeks, so... A fortnight. It's, it's been quite a long time since we, since we last played, you know, it's just, just, just like, scheduling and... stuff and things. Um... Oh, that's right, I need to take these bricks, and I need to make more walls. So I'm gonna craft walls. <laughs> That's, uh. that, that is my, uh, that is my meaning. You build a wall. I'm gonna build 192 walls. Because I'm Murrican. <laughs> <sighs> and that's your role in the world now. 
Oh my god. You, you 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 are the you're the political equivalent of you pass the button. I I am I am so skeptical about making any any jokes that could be perceived as being political these days. We're an American and an Englishman making an industrial wasteland. I think it's going to happen. <laughs> Oh man. Anyways, um, what do we have to do next? I don't even know. Jeez. Do well, we... I'm currently waiting on the material processing because as soon as that comes along, I can make better furnaces. But other than that, we've got everything running right now that we need to make running. Oh so wait, 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 wait! I know exactly faster. what we should do. Um, right now, if we're gonna if we're gonna increase the quality of the um of the iron. Let me check the. Let me check research here. We've already got steel processing, and we're gonna need steel to make the upgraded furnaces. So we have to start making steel right now. Which means we're gonna have to diverge a little bit off of your... Um... Absurdly, massively manufacturing bullet cabinet. Eh, it's not that big. It's really not that big. It's making more bullets than we currently have any use for. I call that Listen, big. the whole entire goal is to have plenty of bullets lying around for whenever we actually start putting turrets up. That's the idea. True, I could start trying out turrets, couldn't I? But anyways, I'm just I'm just gonna set up something real basic right now. Just four of these babies, and um should have a chest full of coal somewhere here. Here we go. I should have a bunch of inserters as well. Uh I've got at least one, so. Well, I have a conveyor belt over here making them, so. All right, we're gonna have we're gonna have to like establish a, a right and proper iron production system at some point. But yeah. just for now, I think that stuffing stuffing these things full like so works just fine. Um, and I get to make an enormous freaking mess. So there we go. Well, it's not industry if there's not a mess somewhere. All right then. So uh, that is uh, that. So that's that is a very slow but functional supply of uh, supply of steel coming out now. I've actually not had that much of a need for steel in in the long run of this game. Granted, I've never actually finished this game. Uh, <laughs> you know, I've only finished the tutorial, but it doesn't seem that hard. <laughs> I've I've never finished the full extent of this game, but um, I got down to the end game, and, like, I, I wasn't in such an incredibly desperate need. Oh my god, really? I mean, ideally, we'd also be splitting off the coal supply into here as well. Yeah, but like, but like I said, I don't think that this should be permanent. I think this should be slapdash no. right now, just to get the furnaces replaced, and then we can actually figure it out. We might want to actually, um, you know, uproot this radar dish here. Yeah, it's not and serving... Radar dishes can work, to my knowledge, basically anywhere, so... It's, it's just a matter of getting them onto the power grid, which is why, yeah. you know, like, once we unlock solar and batteries, uh, you know, battery stations, my intention is to basically build installations or units of these around the map, or at the edges of the base, etc. But, um... I'm, I'm, think, I'm thinking that it might not be a half-bad idea to literally take this split offline of iron right here and basically weave it back down into the general area down here in a more properly thought out system. That or we could always hmm. you know, put another splitter in on this one and just run it down here. Well, if we run, if we, if we take this line that we're currently just splitting off for coal and then just turn these, if they join these, uh, these vernai into the appropriate channels of the actual main system, then we wouldn't have to worry about another coal line. Also, this is kind of in a weird loop. A weird loop? And apparently you built it, so that explains a little what bit. Loop? Well, it comes up here, it goes around here, up here, splits, goes right. Yeah, what's wrong with it? As opposed to just going up and turning right. There's nothing wrong with it. I I don't see the problem. It's functional. I don't even see- Yeah, yeah, I'll give you that. I don't, I don't that. see the complaint you're making here. What is the issue with it? You're, you're wasting, like, eight different conveyor belts. 
We're manuf- we have a full crate of conveyor belts! Right over here! The line is back Why do we have a full crate of conveyor belts? Because we're always gonna need more of them for everything! Hmm. Well, the way you build it, maybe. Oh, for f- <laughs> <laughs> You are driving me nuts here. My god. Okay, anyways. I feel like there's something important that we should be doing. Well, we know the location of some of the aliens. I am not- We know they don't like us. I am not going out after those aliens. <laughs> Until... And as you've noted, we have a lot of bullets currently. Um, alright, you know what? I will... I will go start working on the wall. It's my number one calling to build the wall. I cannot believe the size of this freaking coal field. Yeah, it is beautiful. If we'd have that up north, we'd probably still be in the train industry. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, trains, that's another thing. We're gonna, we're gonna have to look at train depots because of the fact that we've got, um... Ooh. Oop, there we go. Alright, that's Okay, that's we don't have access to steel furni. We can make electric furni right now, if pretty much, if we go to Advanced Material Processing 2. What does that cost? Uh, 150 of the two science packs we are currently manufacturing ad infinitum. So, it doesn't require the blue packs? Nope. Oh my god, I'm amazed. I thought for certain that we'd need blue. Do you do blue? Uh, we could also make speedy rails if we made Logistics 2. Or we can get to work on having cars. Uh, I think for now, the the smartest thing to do, because uh, electric furnaces are way, way cheaper. And we do, we've got this enormous back, uh, backed up line of uh, science packs. Let's go for the electric furnaces. Let's just bypass the steel furnaces. Oh, we need oil processing to get to it. Damn. Oh. We, get to, we totally have the supplies to make it, but it's requiring us th to go through plastics and, ele and electronics. Which we can do, at least. So, there's that. Okay, so, it, advanced oil processing, just 100, take a 100, 200, 200, jeez. Um, and then that leads to electronics, which is 100, 100. Oh, my word. Do we do, well, it's like, do we do we do step one, two, and three to get to electric furnaces as fast as we can? Because at this point, it's like, you, no, we're going to be making steel furnaces. No questions. Um, yeah. So, maybe we can do... Um, if we get solar, then we can just carry around a bunch of solar panels and turrets, and we can murder things as they appear. Uh, yeah, that is true. I, actually, I don't think the turrets take power. I, I don't... It would be strange if they didn't, given this game. Uh, yeah, well, uh, I, I, let, let's, let, let's just focus on the research. Do we want to do solar right now? Let's go with solar. All right, that's cool. It's working! It's working! And then George Lucas shoots me because I prefer the original versions. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, the number of memes that have been showing up lately where it's just like... Everybody saying, oh, okay, and then that's it, directed by George Lucas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on a diplomatic mission to Alderaan. Oh, my mistake. Directed by George Lucas. Have you ever, like, heard the, the legend that is the Star Wars Christmas special? You know, this is one of those things where I've heard of it, but I don't really remember anything about it. Like, I've only ever heard it in very vague passing. It's... It, <sighs> It's sort of the part of the Star Wars universe that even George Lucas would prefer didn't exist. <laughs> what the? Because he made it as a, he made it like during the height of Star Wars fervor, and it was like, oh, the Wookiees celebrate Life Day, which is conveniently basically identical to Christmas, and uh, Chewbacca goes back home to meet his family, which, by the way, includes a grandfather who basically has VR porn. Um, I'm not even joking. I... And... <laughs> just... 
It only existed on VHS tape, and since then, it has become the hottest commodity in Star in like Star Wars merchandise. And ostensibly, the legend has it that George Lucas has tried to get every single copy so that he can destroy them. <laughs> oh my God! This is uh, this is. Well, that's some. I this wow. I, I, wow, I don't even know what to say.